put it there and you go reach for it in the future and it's nine times out of 10 going to be worth less than it was when you got it. The tricky part is you're going to see the same amount. It's just going to feel safe to you. Like, oh, well, I had a thousand a year ago. So it's still a thousand in savings. Uh, uh, uh. Is a, there's a thousand dollars there, but the purchasing power of that thousand is different. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. And again, this might sound a little, sound out of, a little out of touch, but I hope that we all get there. I haven't looked at gas prices and I can't remember the last time I looked at gas prices. I know that they went up, but what am I going to do? Not drive, right? I haven't looked at gas prices. I did kind of notice the milk was a little higher when I went to the store, but the only reason why I noticed is that's the first time I've been to the grocery store in forever because we got our groceries dropped off at our door. So I say that to say, go back to rule number one, right, of making the money and then rule number two of getting the money so that when inflation and stuff like this happens, you're not as phased or as moved. However, you're still moving smart by making sure that the money that you do keep, that you're investing and it's outpacing inflation that is growing.